the Full Max Scout guys. Thank you for joining me on my channel. My name is Joe from SFIF. Thank you for stopping in. And if you're a newcomer to this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It'll definitely help me out in trying to get you the best content possible moving forward. This is not a review, guys. I've had this Full Max Scout for probably about a year and a half. And I realized I never really did a, uh, and, and it's shamefully, I never really did a video on the Full Max Scout. Now, there are a ton of videos out there, guys. I did do some cutting with it that you'll see on this video. Nothing crazy. I just kind of do it. I wanted it to flex its muscles, see what it can this can do, see how it felt in my hand while I was doing some demonstration tests with it with some wood and stuff like that by the stump. Um, they're not the best tests out there, guys. People have really done some amazing jobs in testing these knives and testing how powerful the trial locking system is. Take a look at Scan from Quarry Boys Cutlery Outdoors, my brother from another mother, Donnie B all day. They love the Formax. They love the Formax Scout. It's a great knife. Critics basically agreed. This is a tough, tough knife and it's a great bargain from cold steel aside from the four max you know that's about 500 bucks which has you know better steel better g10 handles you know a little bit more comfortable in the hand the dimensions are the same but the, it's equally as tough and it still has that really powerful triad locking system i just you know it's an it's a knife channel guys i figure what the hell let's show this knife this is what we do on the channel we show you knives we show you swords so let's get out to the stump and let's see what this thing did for me and I'll meet you back here in the studio. Let's check it out. Formax Scout, guys, what better way to testing out the, the triad locking mechanism, which is legendary, how strong and powerful this knife is. Testing out basically the edge, the heat treatment, and the just beast of a blade itself. Then, you know, let's chop up some wood. I'm not gonna go through all of it, obviously, but I wanna just show you how strong this knife is. And I wanna show myself because I haven't really put this through any tests so far. bites that is taken out of this guys I mean this is a pocket knife man you know it doesn't have that handle it doesn't have the weight of a good solid fixed blade chopper but you know but look at the bites that this you know pocket knife is taking I want to just test the locking mechanism and hit it on the spine a little bit. Really freaking good. Very, very impressed. And I haven't sharpened this. This is pretty much factory edge. I've uh, stropped it here and there but it's pretty much factory edge, nice robust edge for chopping. I'm imagining if you probably reprofile this eventually, it should be even, even be, it'll be a heavy, heavy cutter, but a really good slicer as well. But you can see how it does quick work in processing this wood, you know, as just a folder with a really amazing locking mechanism. So this is strong ass knife guys. Yeah, this, these, these knives are very balanced. Take nice deep bites into the wood. Try to take a hard downward throw. Yeah, this thing is awesome. It is literally a beast in the pocket. It's a, it's a pocket, it's literally a pocket fixed blade. It's, uh, it's pretty much, it's that powerful that you never have to close up this triad locking system and keep it as a fixed blade. It's impressive, guys. I mean, look at that wood flying. You know, you could take probably a deeper grip, grip right here. If you want a little more control, but very well balanced. Wood is flying. And the locking mechanism is not failing you. Oh, come on guys. I mean really? <laughs> it just broke off with no problem. Look at the 
bite. Look how it's kind of going into that wood. And again, you know, this is a folder, guys. You know, make up some spear points with it or something like that. And look at that wood flying. The fact that you can chop up wood with this, process some, uh, some firewood, kindle, make up some spears, set up your camping ground. Yeah, I talk like I know what I'm talking about. I'm not a camper, but so I've heard. <laughs> These are things that you do do in the woods when you go camping. Um, this, is, this is a pocket monster. It's a pocket monster. There you go. <laughs> Finally. But it got through it. You know, but guys, this is no joke. This is a three, three copper wire cable here. I have a hard time going through with some bigger knives, but... The fact that you could work with this and still there's no chips or edge damage cutting through the copper is pretty damn good. There you go, guys. Full Max Scout, look at that bite. Fantastic knife. Full Max Scout, guys, it's just a beast of a knife. Let's actually start off by weighing it. Let's see what, what this thing weighs. All right, so it's zeroed out. 10 point, 10 and a quarter ounces. I mean, this thing, this thing is definitely a heavy knife. But the, the thing is, guys, though, it is a heavy knife, okay? But there's something about cold steel big knives that they carry well. I can't explain it, but they carry well in the pocket. Now, a lot of people complain about the belt clips, that they're a jeans ripper, they're way too tight out of the box, which is fine. But you know what? I'd rather get a clip that's actually tight and can wear in time than something that's loosey-goosey, okay, and it's not gonna basically stay in your pocket well. And when you have a nice knife this heavy and you know this sizable, you definitely wanna have a tight clip to start. So if it's too tight for you guys, just get like a little pry bar or even like a flat screwdriver and just kind of pry it open a little bit. And that's exactly what I did. I pried it open a little bit, did it a couple of times. Now it goes in and out of my jeans with no problem, carries really well. And uh, listen, if you're wearing freaking you know, tight, tight, skinny jeans. Yeah, this is not going to fit good in the pocket. But if you're a normal guy and you wear normal jeans, for the most part, not to say that, you know, you're not a normal guy if you, if you wear skinny jeans, but, so, you know, I digress. I mean, I'm not getting in trouble here. But if you wear normal jeans, cargo pants, uh, this will definitely fit in your pocket and still have room for a good size cell phone or your wallet. So I have no problem carrying this thing around. Now, it's if you can carry it around in my state is a totally different story, but we won't get into that right now. Uh, let's go knife rights. Before we do anything, guys, just look at it. I'm not gonna talk, just look at it. Just take a look at this beautiful beast that is before you. Okay, this is the Formax Scout. Now the great thing about the Formax Scout, guys, obviously the, there is the Formax. That comes in and uh, don't quote me on it, I think it's probably somewhere around the $400, $500 range. This knife is a great, cheaper alternative. They use a cheaper steel, but it's not a bad steel. Wars 10A is a great steel. I mean, I tested this at this point already. It's a great steel and you've seen a million videos. I mean, listen, I'm not selling you anything here. This is just kind of me showing you knives because that's what we do on this channel. Show you knives, show you swords, show you blades. And I've had this for quite a while and I wanted to kind of, you know, play with it, test it out, see what it can do, see what all the, the fuss is about this thing. And it's very impressive. The way that cold steel kind of handles the heat treatment on the Wars 10A steel, they do a really phenomenal job. I was very impressed with the fact there's no damage. It's still a fairly sharp edge. Now, if I really wanted to hone this or reprofile this and get this to an even sharper edge, I mean, given the size and the girth of the steel and being able to be a slicer with a, si a, a sharper edge, this thing would be even more devastating. So, but that's your choice. If you want a heavy cutter, you leave it at the factory grind. If you want it sharper, by all means, you can make this thing sharper. Aus 10A will definitely get a good sharp edge and it'll have pretty good edge retention. Okay, so it's a really good economy-based budget type of steel, but it is no joke. It is a really good steel. Cold steel really does it well. Blade thickness, which I tested out myself, is it around almost five millimeters, guys. The blade thickness is almost at five millimeters. And I think most of the blade thickness is right here at the tip. You see how much swelled out it is at the tip? And then it goes right to the point and thins out again. 
This is where it needs to be. This is where the cutting happens. And this is where uh, the strength of this blade comes in. This blade stock is the fact that you have that really swelled, inflated, um, swelled tip, uh, swelled spine here, okay, to reinforce that tip. And I'm always a big fan of when knives do that. The handle is a ridiculous six inches. And I don't say it's ridiculous in a good way. You can take so many different grips, guys, of this knife, okay? If you really want to just kind of hack at something, you can kind of go a little bit back and just kind of be able to use the momentum of the knife and the weight of the knife to kind of hack at something. But the regular grip on this thing is incredibly comfortable. You can uh, jimp it right here, okay, right on top. And this thing stays very firm in your hands. Uh, they saved money on this knife too without giving you the G10 and they gave you what they call the Grivex handles. Um, not as comfortable as the G10, but you know, as you use this more and more, you can see that this really grips the skin, grips that flubber in your hand really well. And even with wet hands, this kind of really stays pretty secure as far as what I saw here. The Grivex is also, you have the stainless steel, but you also have the Grivex liners in the back. Look at all of that steel, guys. Look at how much steel is filled in here. I mean, this is really an absolute tank of a knife. You have obviously, you know, solid steel, uh, stainless steel liners in the, on top. You have a lock back, okay, from the back, and you have the triad locking system. Now, the triad locking system, I don't have to preach on it, preach you on it. It's, uh, you know, one of the strongest locking systems on the market, if not the strongest. They have tested this uh, knife, the triad locking system on this to hold 600 pounds of pressure on that triad locking system. And uh, I mean, that's pretty damn impressive. Are you ever gonna have that type of pressure on the, on the locking system? Probably not. But the fact that you're holding a knife that, has, that is this tough is pretty damn impressive. You know, I'm looking even just the, the, the aesthetics of it, the blade shape, the thickness, the, in, the spine, the steel liners, the grip X, okay? Everything about this knife screams tough quality, okay? It's a great cold steel knife. If you want something that's extremely tough, this is what you need to go for, okay? In your pocket, camping, you know, you can go from basically making a fire, chopping up some wood, you know, uh, making some fine cuts of the wood and uh, to basically go into like killing a bear that basically is attacking you. So it's a multi-purpose outdoor camp tool, a crazy tough work knife. Um, that's a Formax Scout, guys. Great pricing alternative, okay, to the full-size Scout, which is in the four or $500 range. I believe this Formax Scout right now is on sale in Con Cold Steel's website at 104 bucks, so I'm assuming you could probably get this sub $100. Sub $100 for this Formax Scout, which can do so, so much and is so tough. It is a great, great bargain from Cold Steel. Probably Cold Steel's best bargain, as far as I'm concerned, is this Formax scout people had tried to destroy it they could not destroy it and people are running its praises testing it using it it is a great great knife i recommend it to anyone even if they just want a tough knife that they want to have in their collection so there it is guys the full max scout so there you have it guys just basically using this knife it solidifies your the, the testament as far as how powerful this knife is and how great it is i mean you hold it you put it in your hand you carry it around it's a great knife it's a great carry but when you finally really use it put it in your hands and actually use it and run it through its course you can see basically the value that you're getting into this knife for about a hundred bucks guys a hundred bucks okay to get all of this and all of the versatility that you can get in this knife is pretty damn good so again i'm not selling it to you i just wanted to show it to you. I want to show you my toys, okay? Big boy toys. We love our knives. We love our swords. The Formax Scout definitely has my love for an eternity. This thing will last me a lifetime. I am going to be putting a sharper edge on here. I want to see, I want to turn this into a, a heavy duty cut slicer. Going to be more videos on the Formax Scout. Definitely neglected this thing and I wanted to get a video out there. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. This is the Formax Scout. One of many, a million videos out there on it and I am Appreciate you guys stopping in and taking a look at my assessment and my experience so far with the Formax Scout. A year and a half in the making. Finally, I did it. Here it is. Love you all, guys. Love and respect each and every one of you. Thank you for stopping in again. Joe from SFIF signing out. Ciao.